In tonight's episode, our battle with the creature formerly known as Lady Comstock continues and we continue to unravel the, the tears that explain the history behind her murder. We also discover the most pointless room in the game. Seriously, there's no point to it. No reason at all. And lastly, we finish um, our introduction to the events that took place before Bioshock Infinite began. Because this is Bioshock Infinite Explained. Greetings and welcome back to Bioshock Infinite Explained Part 21. Uh, we have been making good progress these last few videos and as always the, the purpose here is to uh, not just give you a playthrough but to give you an explained playthrough uh, where we discuss uh, what's going on, why it's going on, where the plot line is leading us to and all that kind of stuff. So um, there will be spoilers right from the start and if um, you haven't yet played through the game or um, uh, watched a kind of uh, unseen, a blind playthrough, you might wish to start there. But assuming that you wish to stay with us and unravel the mysteries of uh, Bioshock, then please stick around. Uh, we've just arrived at the bank. Uh, we are in search of the uh, the second of three tears that will help to bring peace to the seriously crazy uh, Lady Comstock thing. Uh, not quite ghost, not quite memory, not quite person. It's a whole different mix of things. Um, but while we uh, battle through um, these uh, little obstacles here and uh, possess as many as uh, humanly possible, um, let's continue our little uh, talk through of the, the plotline as a whole. Now in, in the last video we got up to the point where uh, Comstock has his daughter, his, his, his newly renamed Elizabeth and uh, she has starting to develop powers and Booker is drunk and lying in a pile of his own urine somewhere in, a, in, somewhere in another multi-universe. Um, things, things at this point are going pretty well for, for Comstock. Uh, he's, he is disturbed by the fact that his daughter has these strange powers. That, that, was, uh, that was never part of the plan and in fact as a, as a response to that he actually has to uh, put her in this strange tower, the, uh, the, the, the angel, the, the siphon. Um, and he has to get the, Lute the, the Lutesses to build a special machine that will actually kind of contain her powers in some way. Um, if we think about what um, Elizabeth, Elizabeth says to us at that point, she says that when she was younger she can kind of just create the tears to, to anywhere she wants at will. But um, as she gets older she loses the ability to do so. Now she actually isn't losing the ability to do so, she's actually getting more and more powerful, but the machine, the siphon, um, is restricted and uh, kind of pulling her powers away from her to prevent her from being um, all-powerful in, in, in this way. And in fact, of course, it is Comstock's ultimate plan to um, uh, perform all sorts of life. operations really? on her. In fact, we'll see these later on in the game. Perform all sorts of operations on her to, to completely stop her from using her powers and just almost, and just basically become a, a, a brainwashed um, servant to his um, ideas. Now, uh, Still looking through the tears, Comstock does never learns after the after the inf infertility and uh, uh, premature aging incident. Uh, he sees Comstock sees that there will be a false shepherd. Booker will come um, after uh, his daughter, so uh, he makes preparations for that. Of course, part of that, of course, is the the security. Um, of of the, of the siphon, and he also commissions Fink to uh, protect the siphon in some way. And Fink, looking through the tears, possibly um, at Rapture from Bioshock One and Two, uh, comes up with this part man, part uh, beast uh, kind of machine, and, and creates the Songbird as um, Elizabeth's guardian. Um, uh, Comstock also. What's that? Fifty percent of everything people earn here. Just right to Comstock as a tie. I gotta get me a job in the profit business. A lovely bit of foreshadowing there. Yeah. Booker already got himself a job in the profit business, but it's interesting to note there that the uh, the the uh, uh, the temptation of of becoming a prophet is there for Booker DeWitt, even even though he his in his version of the life he never he never took that particular route. But uh, you, you can see that he is tempted by that that particular. Um, 
the benefits of that particular lifestyle, albeit just said in a kind of a throwaway remark that I'm, I'm guessing we're not supposed to take too seriously. Um, anyway, um, Comstock sees that um, Booker will come, uh, therefore he, he creates this mythology of the false shepherd, and he puts that all up around the town, all around Columbia. Um, everyone knows that there will be a false shepherd, and he will have AD on his uh, right hand. Um, he, he, he wants to take every step possible to make sure that Booker's uh, mission to, to, to recapture or regain Anna will be... Um, will be unsuccessful. Um, and I guess at this point uh, the, the story could have ended um, if it wasn't for the actions of perhaps the true hero of Bioshock um, Infinite which is the male Lutess, uh, Robert Lutess. Now I've been having an interesting debate with uh, one of you guys on the um, in the comment sections about about why this has happened because essentially the the female Lutess seems to be um, amoral she, she seems to have no real um, opinions on what Comstock is doing she's pretty content with what is 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 going on um, now her and her brother are supposed to oh, sorry, no, I said her brother her and her alternate self are essentially supposed to be the same person except one of them is a boy and one of them is a girl but Robert does have a serious problem with what is going on. Uh, he sees the visions of... Um Oh, they're not really visions. He sees the the, the 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 tears about what will potentially happen to New York. He sees what Elizabeth will become. He sees what the 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 flying vehicle of Columbia will eventually do, and he has a serious moral problem with it. Um, now, is this because um, just one of them is a boy, one of them is a girl? Is it a gender thing? Is it just through uh, variables and constants? And is one of the variables that he is more caring than she is, or or is it actually because he has travelled between universes and in, and in some ways his uh, rewritten memory um, gives him some form of morality um, if you've got any opinions on this then do 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 stick it into the uh... all right let's see type three letters to spell the voice three letters v o x try the typewriter uh, v and o and x that's not really a code is it that's just the big the word hoarder Yes, but let's type it in. Hold to look. Uh huh. Ooh, money and magic drink. Ooh, silver bar. Nine, I think. Hmm. We're getting almost to the max here. It's a shame I keep almost dying. Um, anyway, um. If you've got any uh, interesting idea thoughts on why uh, the, these two identical people appear to have different kinds of morality, then do stick them in. But the, those references come up quite a few times in their conversations. Um, she is nearly always the one moaning, even from the very first scene in the game. You think back to that boat trip. She's moaning. She's complaining. He's saying, she's saying, why are we doing this? We, we've already failed. Um, I mean, all of that early dialogue. I know the prophet is a liar, but he cannot be. I know the prophet is a murderer, but he cannot be. For if the future lies only in the imagination of God, why would he reveal it to such a monster? And uh, filling in the uh, more of the blanks in the story of Lady Comstock, actually making her seem like a far more sympathetic figure. Uh, that she she actually is conflicted with what is going on, um, as opposed to to Comstock, who is not, and of course, as we're talking about um, the female Lutess, who is not. Um, but Robert is, um, and uh, if thinking about their dialogue right at the beginning of the game, she's kind of saying this experiment has already failed. Why should we try again? This has already gone wrong. Um, especially if that links into the fact that we're like the 122nd or 123rd booker that's attempted this and all this kind of stuff. Um, but nevertheless. Um, it comes down to the point that the, the, the male Lutess gives the female Lutess an ultimatum, and we hear about this in one of the Vox phones. He basically says to her, either you help me undo this stuff, um, or or I'm leaving, I'm out, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go back to where I came from. Now, it, it's, it's unclear in the order about why, exactly why this happens, but Comstock orders the murder of the Lutesses, um, and he gets Fink to do it, and we heard that earlier in one of the... Uh, uh, in, in, in one of the Vox phones. Um, also, we hear, we hear at some point in one of the Vox phones, but um, 
he, he orders them he order he orders the murder and uh, and it's unclear it does he order the murder because he hears that they're about to rebel or does he order the murder because he simply wants to protect uh, the 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 knowledge of the Anna Elizabeth swap over from ever getting out you know he might just want to cover up the fact that um, you know kill anyone that is is remotely aware that um, Anna is, Elizabeth is not his real daughter. That's that's possible too. But let, let, let's go with the first theory for now. Um, somehow Comstock gets wind of the fact that um, the Lutesses may may start to work against him, um, and he sabotage. He gets Fink to sabotage um, the Lutess field machine. Um, they are uh, killed by the machine, but because this is a, uh, uh, a kind of a special machine, they actually in Grab some way up. in oh there's a. There's a man with a crow over there. I don't know he, where he went. Uh, because this is a special machine, they in some way get kind of sucked into it. And they end up... Let's, let's see if we can make some friends. Um, he... Uh, where was I? Sorry. He uh, gets... They get sucked into the machine. And actually develop the power to move between universes um, at will. Um, almost in the sense they, they become the gap between... Um, Elizabeth and her missing finger they can they can just flit about and that's how you see them all the time in different places for these little short periods now one of the questions could be well why don't they now using their new powers just sort out the problem with Comstock and Elizabeth and Anna I mean certainly with their ability to move around all the time they could actually do quite a lot I mean they, they kill a lot of the lighthouse keepers so they certainly have a, an ability to make an effect um, yet for whatever reason they decide that the only person that's actually going to be able to sort this out is the original Booker DeWitt now I'm not sure I fully understand why they just don't deal with it themselves I mean it, obviously it's part of the gameplay it's part of the narrative and all that kind of stuff but um, if you've got any kind of suggestions or theories on that um, I'd love to hear them so do, do stick them into the comments section and I, I can debate and um, add it into a oh that was a good shot um, <coughs> and I can put that into a um, a, a, a future video but either way so the, the Lutesses decide that the way they're gonna try and undo what's gonna happen with Comstock and Elizabeth is to go and get the booker that they took the child from all those years before so 20 years after um, Elizabeth has ta is taken from booker the Lutesses will visit him again now he is drunk he's a mess uh, he doesn't really know what's going on but they, they drag him through the tear um, and set him on a rescue mission but in the same way that when Robert went through the tear his memories were all mucked, all mucked up and we talked about this I think it was either the last video or it must have been the one before we talked about how um, how one Lutess had to leave lots of messages for the other to get his kind of memory working properly uh, Booker's memories when he goes through the, the tear get all messed up um, half merged with Comsocks half kind of confused with just the process of going through and the fact that he's just drunken out of it completely and somehow he forgets all about Anna and Elizabeth and he forgets all about um, any the, any kind of Comstock link he forgets all about um, anything to do with traveling from one universe to the other but all he is able to latch onto is the original um, instruction from when he first gave away his daughter which is bring us the girl and wipe away the debt and that kind of becomes his like um, his kind of mantra that's what he believes he is there to do bring us the girl wipe away the debt now hey look a lockpick hey look a lockpick let's pick it up um, now that of course was probably spoken to him many years before when he initially gave away his daughter but now he's using it to uh, to, to gonna get his daughter back but he doesn't know that's what he's doing Booker doesn't know that the girl he is currently with is his um, daughter or certainly doesn't find it out until later I think we have something dropping a weapon how does one drop a weapon? Is that just like by swapping to another weapon, or or something else? Might have to might have to experiment with that one. Later. So um, when, when we see Booker first entering the and entering the lighthouse and seeing all of this, bring us the girl, wipe away the debt stuff. Um, that is a, a kind of memory and invention. If you think back to the very, I think it's the, the second line you see in the game. Um, we've talked about this in a previous video. You know where where, where the Lutess says um, the subject will struggle to create memories where none exist, and that's that's what Booker has done. He's kind of wiped off all the memories that have gone um, that didn't quite make sense. He's got confused with moving from universe to universe, nose nose bleeding, all that kind of stuff. Stuff. Um, and he's just left as a kind of uh, hired thug on a, on, on a rescue mission, whereas, of course, the, the truth is far more meaningful than that. And
And that's the point where Bioshock Infinite, as we know it as the player, uh, truly begins with it from the point where Booker um, in, in this new universe... I assume this is the head of the Order of the Raven from um, almost back at the start of the game. I believe they had some sort of special connection with uh, Lady Comstock, or they were, they, as well as being kind of like pro-slavery and anti-Lincoln, they were also very pro um, the Lady Comstock. Is he dead? Huh. I, I guess he's dead. Sabotage. All their patents. All of them. Now, why does the Prophet want these two killed? For the same reason Lady Comstock lies buried. Child. And why does he want me to do it? Because only you can make it seem an accident. I don't think that's the real Lady Comstock. I think she's... I think she's a combination of herself and my feelings towards her. What do you mean? I'm just so angry at her and, and at my father. I think she's her, but she's also partly me. I, I'm not even sure I understand it myself. And we've got a Vox phone. Looks like Comstock. The Archangel tells me that Columbia will only survive so long as my line sits the throne. Yet Lady Comstock produces no child. I have done what a man can do, yet there is no child. I've asked Lutessa about the matter, but even she refuses to help. Um, I have been so impressed over these last like three videos, the way the game is literally throwing at me the Vox phones that I have just talked about in terms of, my, of the commentary. I honestly have not planned it this way, but I am delighted, <laughs> absolutely delighted with the way it's panning out. Um, so thank you, Mr. Comstock, for um, confirming your, your infertility, and thank you for um, unveiling the murder plot um, through that particular tear with, uh, with, with the Finks. Um, hopefully that all kind of made sense to you, dear viewer, and... Um, uh, in, in, the, in the in the process of the narrative, you can kind of see where all of these bits um, kind of fit in. Um, anyway, so like, like I was saying, the uh, the game kind of picks up at that point as Booker um, enters the lighthouse, gets transported to Columbia, um, has a few kind of incidents with the Lutes with the Lutesses, uh, as we have yet off another meeting with Lady Comstock. I'm going to see if I can kind of snipe her. Oh, I get it from here. That's good. See how many criticals we can get. Crucially, we needed to stay in front. Now, oh, typical is mine. I was about to say stay in, stay in front of the door, but now she's flown off to the side. I think we're going to have an ammo problem if we get too many of these guys around. So let's see if we can possess a few and get them to do the fighting for us. Wah! Yeah, so um, continuing the narrative of the game, I'm sure you've played it yourself or you've watched my playthrough. You know, uh, uh, Booker enters Columbia, he picks up his first figures from the fair, he uh, gets advised not to pick num num number 77 in the raffle, but because Sorry, of the. Uh, great. Um, but because of the, um, the, the idea of uh, variables and constants, he can't avoid that. Um, and he ends up. Oh, I need to back up here a little bit. Bit of accuracy, there we go. Um, and he ends up rescuing slash kidnapping um, Elizabeth from um, the tower, half destroying the siphon in the process, and uh, running across the, um, the city as um, Elizabeth gets as Elizabeth gets further away from the the siphon. Uh, she is kind of able to open these tears uh, more fully than, than she has before. Um, and that's when the whole kind of universe jumping and swapping thing uh, trip starts to... Uh, right. I can't, I can't work out which white thing I'm shooting at there. Am I sh oh dear, health's gone low. It's hard to know whether I'm shooting at the body she's resurrecting or whether I'm shooting at her. I'm pretty sure her health is actually pretty low now. Um, if I could get a clear shot at her head, I could probably take her down. How many bullets left? Five. Right, there she is. 
Missed. Got that one. Come on. There we are. With one bullet left. <laughs> and I only nearly died once. I'm having to play this, or, I, or I'm choosing to play this one uh, um, a lot more tactically than I played uh, my original run through. I think my original run through, I just kind of ran through the door with a shotgun and was busy <laughs> plugging away. But uh, I think with the, the, the higher difficulty and my lower health, um, wherever possible, we'll take things out from a distance. And oh, we're actually back in the opening room to the uh, the bank. So, so yeah, I don't need to go down there. That's where I've come from. So this is uh, just the exit to go back from whence we came. So we've now got two of the tears, two of the three tears, um, to kind of uh, restore Lady Comsock to a, to a more saner um, state of mind. Let us just uh, fleece dollar, dollar bill a little and restock up on ammo and salt and all that kind of stuff. And uh, yeah, and then uh, essentially we we start universe hopping uh, like like we have been doing. Uh, firstly to um, firstly to go to a universe where Mr. Lin is still alive, and then secondly to go to a universe where Mr. Lin's tools are back where they should be, and uh, and, and 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 so on and 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 so forth. Um, Now I could um, start discussing the ending now. I mean, to, to give us this kind of complete narrative of the story. But I think I would rather wait until uh, the next part to start doing that because I think there's going to be an awful lot to discuss with um, lighthouse hopping and <laughs> various extra baptisms and murders and all that kind of stuff. So I'm going to hold off um, on, on all that. And um, the one thing I would like to uh, talk about is I, I was watching a little film earlier today with uh, Cleary Pierce um, called Religious. Or religious, uh, which is by uh, Bill Mayer, who's a, an, an American comedian, kind of well known for his kind of um, atheist views and things. And um, uh, be, being an ethic, being a philosophy and ethics teacher at school, I'm always interested in you know looking at these arguments and seeing what I can use in class and all, and all that kind of stuff. Um, but he was um, brought up some stuff that I didn't know about the American uh, founding fathers. I'm, I mean, I'm not, I don't, must admit, I, don't, I don't know a lot about American history other than what kind of makes it into. Um, British popular culture, uh, but he was making the point that most of the most of the the kind of famous three uh, are weren't particularly religious, or in fact were even kind of anti-religious to an extent. Uh, he was kind of showing some quotes about how they were kind of saying that lighthouses are more important than churches, and don't even go on with the analogy of of lighthouses for Bioshock and things like that. But um, yeah, lighthouses are more important than churches, and that how religion kind of led to war, and you know, and, and things like that. But I thought it was interesting then that um, how those three are actually used as religious founding fathers in, in Bioshock, uh, which, which, which um, would seem to be a massive misrepresentation of both their uh, biographies and their, and their views. Um, but, it's, it, and, but it's probably, in, to an extent, fairly realistic in the way that um, people often use the, the views of, or, or, or kind of make out that the views of people who are long since dead would have agreed with whatever political or religious ideology um, uh, they they have they have got now. Um, but it, I, I just thought it was, it was uh, you know, it, it, it's nice the way that kind of art, imita art imitates life, or life and all, all, all that kind of stuff that, uh, that e e even Comstock um, deliberately misrepresents the uh, uh, th those three. Now this is an interesting building, um, in so much as it's an interesting building because there's nothing in it, uh, which doesn't seem particularly interesting, and <laughs> I perhaps just talked myself out of that initial statement, but this is um, the building with nothing in it. Uh, there's a key to get in, so it costs you a lick, a lick, a lick pick, or a lick pock, uh, <laughs> to get in here, and then you've got two lifts, and Nothing else. Um, I got thoroughly confused when I was first here. There's no, um, uh, there's no um, money here. There's no safe in here. There's no um, vial in here. You know, like the uh, the salt vial or anything like that. There's no new weapon. There's no new um, vigor. Uh, there's there's nothing. There there is there is nothing here. 
Um, just, I mean, it's nicely lit. There's a lovely pop plant. There's a dead lady. I mean, it could be that this is a DLC thing. It could be that there was meant to be an object here, or it could just be a mistake, or it could just be one of those places that they thought that kind of kind of keeps Columbia kind of looking alive, um, even if. Uh, you know, like a location that doesn't have any particular purpose, but is is there just because it should be? Um, just I try. Found a lock pack. Oh, which, which I can't pick up. Um, I'm just wondering if electrocuting the electricity will produce any kind of uh, reaction, but apparently not. And I assume that firing the fire will have no reaction as well. There is a there was a button outside the lift that I was trying to press, but I think uh, I think we can safely say that this elevator has has gone and it's and it's unpressable. So there we go, the building with nothing in it. That sounds like a like like one of those kind of books that gets turned into a movie, you know, the way no way nothing much happens for uh, an hour and a half and then it wins an Oscar. Um, but there we are. I hope you enjoyed our visit to the building with nothing in it. And as we bomb it back round to, uh, I think it's the photographers uh, that we have last to visit, as, as we have already done the test lab. No, I think I missed this bar the first time round because I was busy being um, I was busy being shot by the snipers. Uh, I don't know if there's anything particularly interesting here. I shall replenish my salt and not take any health. Anything else? A piano, a clock, and a staircase. Where does this go? Yes, yes. Oh, we have life. Finest wine, James. Consider this overdue recompense. Oh, wait, wait. Back. Looks like we have some fox taunting some innocent racists. Well, I think we can uh, liven up this party. Yes. Would you like to taunt yourself? Indeed. Right, let us hunt around for some monies and... Oh. <laughs> you read my mind, darling. You knew what I was looking for and you found it for me. I think you should see this. Is it money? If it isn't money, I don't want to see it. It's, it's 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 nothing. It's a lovely hat. Lovely detail put into this wine cellar. Ooh, and a Lady Comstock log. Tonight, the prophet moved against his political enemies. He preaches mercy, but forty souls lie tonight dead in unmarked graves. If a man was ever unworthy of grace who would be my husband but when I was beyond redemption he offered it anyway how can I deny forgiveness to to one who with love granted it to me Redemption again, kind of painting in more of the uh, the Lady Comstock Lady Comstock conflict, which is surprisingly hard to say. The Lady Comstock conflict. Um, she obviously had this major issues with her Elizabeth. She she did support her husband, but she was very conflicted about it and really didn't like this kind of political killings and um, other kind of assassinations and things like that. I think we talked about some of these political um, infightings before when we looked at the um, the sculpt sculpt heads of the. Um, Political elite and um, uh, various kind of situations like that. But it's interesting. This this word uh, redemption comes up quite a lot um, in um, in the game, and we and obviously uh, redemption and baptism are, are, are very very close links. And I've drawn comparisons before with uh, Booker DeWitt and um, John Marston from Red Dead Redemption. Um, of course, where, and, and the similarities continue in that both of them eventually find redemption through through death. Through death, and in fact, most stories about redemption seem to end with the uh, main uh, kind of protagonist dying in some way. Maybe, maybe we'll have a little pop quiz to see how many films can we name where the main character dies at the end through redeeming themselves in some way. Yes. 
So the the Lutesses tormenting their undertaker or their their photographer. That's insanity. What proof would you have that Mr. Fink would hurt the Lutesses? The Lutesses told me. The Lutesses? When? Yesterday. Yesterday morning. Rupert! They've been dead these seven days. A bit of dark comedy in Bioshock Infinite for poor Robert getting confused. Although they've overused the name Robert. Robert meeting Robert. Lovely bits of detail here in the dark room. We've even got the different chemicals that the, uh, the uh, photographs would be dipped in. Um, I think my, my first playthrough, I did have a little I'd look through quite a lot of these photographs to see if there's any kind of like clues or characters that uh, we know. Um, but I haven't, I haven't seen any. Uh, it doesn't mean that they're not there. And if you, if you did spot anything in the photographs that I've missed, then uh, please Grab do, that please do, do, do point that out for me. But um, I think it's just kind of generic. Uh, looking people and what's this a purse oh and a shotgun in the foot in the photographer's window I bet that makes a nice shot <laughs> uh, yes well let's have a little, little look at these numbers well, well I think as we have now spotted our third tear we are about, about ready to head back to Lady Comstock but we have also uh, hit our 30 minute window so if you have enjoyed this little um, expulsion or completion of the early plotline of Bioshock then please do give the video a like subscribe if you want to make sure you see the future videos and as always thank you very much for watching take care and I'll see you soon bye bye